welcome to the second episode of SM Edit Tutorials. Um, I just want to show you through a few troubleshooting tips just in case you had trouble with the previous tutorial which was installation. So we're on starmadewiki.com slash wiki slash SM Edit and I'm going to be showing you through the troubleshooting section. The most common problem that people had was that the Joe Plugins folder was not being installed. I'm just going to show you that now. As you can see, there it is. Um, if I go back one, you'll recognize it. Open your StarMade folder, which is near your starter, uh, and then you'll see Joe Plugins right there. Now, what was happening was people were not getting this folder. Now, I can confirm that at the time of doing this video, um, everything installs just fine. Uh, there was a known bug for about a week, which was fixed. Um, like I say, you guys all gave me some feedback from my last video. And uh, if you double, if you uh, download SM Edit again, as shown in the previous video, uh, you will get the latest version of SM Edit, which will download the folder correctly. Um, there are a couple of things which I'm going to sort of go through now, which will help you out with troubleshooting this problem. Once we open SM Edit, you'll notice that there is a modify menu. Now, my problem was I had it grayed out. The reason I had the problem was multiple installations. I was actually installing it to the wrong place or I was installing it to a version of StarMade that wasn't regarded as the active version. So let's just show you how you can get this working. If you can't see the modify menu, this applies to you. If you can see the modify menu, you've done everything right and you can pretty much move on to the next video. Okay, so I'm just going to close SM Edit and we're going to show you what this is about here. The launcher, SM Edit, will actually launch and download Joe SM, which is the editor, and it will create a folder called Joe Plugins containing Joe File Mods, which is everything under the modify. So, if you can confirm that you've got this folder, you don't need to know any more, because it works for you. If you don't, these are the things you can try. First of all, turrets don't have any plugins, so it won't work. Okay, but if you're loading the default isanth, then yes, it should be working. If there are no plugins, that will cause the problem, so yeah. Uh, many people mentioned that they did not get the Joe Plugins folder, and that was a problem with one of the old launchers. That's been fixed, so my advice is go and re-download your SM Edit from... Doo -doo 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 re-download it from starmademultiverse.com when you click on download ignore the error message agree and download you will need to be signed in and download the one with the highest file size because that will most likely be the most recent one um, it's possible we may be able to get something done about this but I don't actually run this so uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to help you out guys so I had no problems with the 8.75 kilobyte version right? So, download that, run that, let it update, then double check that you have got your file mods in your uh, in your uh, Joe Plugins folder, okay? So, that's pretty straightforward. Now comes the tricky part. Um, if you have a wrong StarMade directory, right, like I did, there's a couple of ways you can actually fix this. The first is to go to your home folder. On Windows, it's this. You uh, click the Start menu, Control V, and it'll open up your user folder. Of course, there's about a million ways you can do that. If you double click on the .josm fold, uh, file, and then select Notepad, you can take off always use this program. It'll give you this file. Now, I've got two pieces of advice for you. The first is, this line here, starmade.home equals C users OSA desktop new build starmade starmade. That is the you know Joe uh, has set up Smedit to search for your latest starmade build. So even if you don't install it in the right place, it should sort of seek it out. This is the location that SM Edit is seeing as the primary install, just here. Colons and uh, backward slashes must be escaped with a backward slash, which is why it's got like this funny pattern of double slashes you might be seeing. 
there's two ways you can do this. You can either install SMEdit in full to this location, which is easier because you don't need to edit this file, or you can change the path, uh, being very careful not to break the way it's put in here, um, to, the, to the location where you think it should be installed. I would go with the first option because it doesn't mean it means you don't have to change anything and potentially make it worse. So that's one way of doing it. Um, there are also two more things that I'd like to go through. First is uh, giving the program additional memory. Now, um, a great way to actually get into the folder because you will need to be on command line. Um, this runs in much the same way as StarMade or Minecraft or any other Java-based. Um, application would run. So what we're going to do is we're literally going to open up a command. So I'm going to type start and then cmd and then press enter. That's going to give me a, a nice little command line right here. And then I'm going to copy this part just here. All right. And I'm obviously going to close uh, Smedic because I don't want to get cause any problems. Um, oh, I did miss something out. I need to click in the address bar here and control C that will give me the address I want so I'm going to type CD space which is for change directory and then uh, paste with right click paste control V doesn't work in that console enter and here we are so now all I need to do is actually run this command which is listed here this is how you will run SM edit from the command line oh, here we go with my control V's Right, there we go. Now, off it goes. Now we're just going to minimize SMEdit to the background for a second, and you can see that the program's running. Now, if we have any bugs, there will be output in this screen here, which we can then copy back to the developer as a as a bug report. Okay. Um, so if you're having problems, crashes, this is how you would be able to actually get some feedback on your problem. Um, so there's that. If I now close MSM Edit, and now this time we're going to do it to add a gigabyte of memory. If you've ever seen a Minecraft server startup script, this is going to look quite familiar to you. So I'm going to paste it, and let's just go through what we've got here. So we've got Java minus capital X MX equals 1G space minus jar space smedit.jar. Now the only difference between the last command we run and this one is that we're specifying that the program can have one gigabyte of memory. Always remember to use 1G with gigabytes. If you want to use megabytes you can, but you need to use multiples of 8. If you don't use a multiple of 8, you could cause yourself some problems. I mean I would recommend a minimum of 512 anyway, so setting it to 1 gig is probably a good idea. And if you're working on a really big ship and it keeps crashing, this is going to be great for you. So, off it goes. When does it stop? Nobody knows. Invalid maximum heap size 1G. Thought something didn't feel right. I was just looking at my syntax going, what's wrong here? And it's the equals, I think. So let's trust it. Hey! So yeah, basically, um, I think the equal sign there is wrong, so I'm going to ask them to uh, change the wiki. I might just register for an account and just, just, just get rid of that. It shouldn't be there. I was wondering why it wouldn't work. I was thinking, of course I've got a thousand, of course I've got a gigabyte of free memory. That's ridiculous, and of course it's because the syntax was wrong. So yeah, um, the only thing about using command lines is one little key and it all goes wrong. So uh, just be careful. If you don't know what you're doing with command line, only use the GUI. Okay, so uh, I'm going to exit this now and just double check that. So yeah, that works 100%. So uh, you just got to remember no equals and then it'll work. I should have spotted that. It felt weird when I was, I was looking at it going, it doesn't look right. <laughs> um, but we've got it sorted, so that's it. Right. So I believe that's pretty much everything you're going to need to know um, for troubleshooting basics and uh, there's a little tip there as well for extending the memory. I think I might do a separate video on that but uh, 
just for the purposes is related to this because you might have a problem with that actually <laughs> so yeah uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one if anyone's got any suggestions they want to see in a tutorial that I haven't already done please do comment and ask for it and I will consider making a video on that subject so thanks again and I'll see you soon